some historical events are etched in our minds by date, or at least by the dates when we traditionally celebrate them. December 25th for Christmas, July 4th for Independence Day, and how about June 17th? That's when nine members of Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, one of the oldest black congregations in South Carolina, and possibly in the United States, were fatally shot by a white gunman. The movie Emanuel helps us to remember. It also helps us to understand in a way that wasn't possible in the chaos of the tragedy in 2015. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Emanuel uses television news coverage, police footage, and reenactments to give us perspective. But perhaps nothing was as effective as the recollections of the victim's relatives, such as Nadine Collier. So me and my husband got back in the car. As we were going down Calhoun Street, that's when my phone rang again. My niece calling me back, Najee. She said, Auntie. I said, what, Najee? She break down and cry. She said, Granny is gone. I started screaming. I said, no, she's not. We all remember the tragedy of the event, but was there any triumph in a positive sense? This aspect may be fading from our country's collective consciousness. It turns out, in an unusual departure from standard procedure, the judge at the bond hearing permitted victims' relatives to address the perpetrator through a video hookup. I don't want to give away all the details, except to say you'll see a newspaper headline on screen that says, Hate Won't Win. When you watch the film, you'll understand and appreciate the triumph. Emmanuel will be in theaters for just two nights, Monday, June 17th, and Wednesday, June 19th. It's a great opportunity to reflect on this event that we cannot allow to fade from history. This is Steve Eastman for... Wait till you hear this. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.